In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what is family day, when does family day occur, who can attend, some general rules and guidelines for both the trainee and their family or anyone who came to visit. What does a typical schedule look like? What are some things that you could do with your trainee? We'll discuss some of the souvenirs and purchases that you'll probably want to get for your trainee. And last but not least, my final thoughts about family day. And before we get into that, let's roll with the intro. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sergeant First Class Schwartz, your local New York Army National Guard recruiter, conveniently located in Midtown Manhattan in New York City. And I am never too busy to help you transition from a civilian into a soldier. As a hobby here on this channel, I post videos to help future soldiers and potential soldiers to prepare themselves mentally and physically for Army basic training, recruiting, and other Army related videos. So if that's what you're into, consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon. And by hitting that bell icon, not only do you get a notification when I post a new video, but more importantly, when I go live, because oftentimes I'll bring on another drill sergeant or a former drill sergeant to give their insights and tips to help you as my viewer to prepare themselves for Army basic training. So without further ado, welcome to another basic training survival tip video. Huge shout out and a thank you to Drill Sergeant Davis. He is currently serving as a Drill Sergeant at Fort Leonard Wood and he provided a ton of these insights and tips on Family Day to provide to you. So do me a favor, go check out his Instagram page right here and give him a follow. He's an awesome guy. His Breakfast for the Brain videos are amazing. Great all around dude, great NCO, great Drill Sergeant. Go give him a follow. So what is Family Day? Family Day is essentially a opportunity for you to spend some time with your soldier in a training environment. It gives your soldier an opportunity to take a breath of fresh air and step back and get away from the training environment for you to spend quality time with your trainee. When does basic training family day occur? Glad you asked. At the completion, as you were, I will say this, that basic training family day on a normal soldier doing a basic training and then their ait or their advanced individual training is going to differ from someone who's doing osa which is a one station unit training someone usually goes into a combat mos or military occupation specialty or aka job skill such as infantry field artillery military police so on and so forth so i will do a separate video on family day for them who are in an osa environment first you who are about to go to ait your advanced individual training family day will happen at the completion of the 10 week period the, the day right before army graduation so towards the end of army basic training you're gonna receive a letter of information of when the graduation date is when the family day date is along with some additional information of like which hotels you can stay at where you could park all that good stuff all that general information you can also most companies now are offering a fan page on Facebook that will also provide you this information on how to, locations, times, and all that good stuff. So definitely pay attention to the letter that does get mailed home and or their Facebook page that they have that you can review while they're at training. Who exactly can attend this family day? Basic training family day is completely open to anyone who can make it. Family, friends, coworkers, acquaintances, frenemies, exes, it doesn't matter. Everybody laddie daddy can go there. There are no tickets or reservation cards or anything like that that anyone who wants to attend the basic training, graduation, or family day, there are no tickets that are needed to go come there. You just need to know the soldier's name and where you're going for the family day. And if you're a trainee and no family member or friends decides to come and visit you on family day, don't worry about it. Because you can spend the rest of the day to yourself doing your own thing for the remainder of the day. Just make sure you report back, which I'll get to in a second. Although there is no limit for any amount of people to visit for family day and or graduation, you will have to, driving into the army base, if you're not taking a cab, you will have to get a vehicle pass at the VCC, the Visitor Control Center, and they get really 
really busy. So don't wait until the last minute to get there in the morning to pick up your soldier to, you know, spend the rest of your day and family day. I suggest that you get there at least two hours earlier, if not the night before, to at least um, get yourself acclimated and get the visitor pass so that you can get there much, much faster and that your soldier is not waiting on you, wasting valuable quality time with your, your soldier. So if you are driving on post, make sure that your registration is up to date, your insurance is up to date, and if your vehicle uh, state has a, an inspection requirement, make sure that everything is up to date and you have all the proper documentation. So if you are one of the family members or friends that are visiting and you happen to have or hold a military ID card or a veteran's ID card, you can get onto base without and completely avoiding the whole vehicle pass requirement. So all you do is show your military or veteran ID card and you can get on base, no questions asked. Just make sure that everyone who is attending going onto the military installation does have a valid government issued ID card or you will not be allowed on base. So what's the schedule typically look as a soldier and as a, uh, as a family member on family day? So in general, basic training trainees will wake up around 0600 in the morning which is 6 a.m. Privates will eat breakfast at the DFAC and continue to clean the barracks until transportation arrives. And then from there, you will be transported to your family day area, which is usually gonna be either located at a theater or a parade field or a gymnasium. So depending on your company policy or SOP, you will either as a trainee be wearing your OCP, which is this uniform, or your ASU, your Army Service Uniform, which is your dress uniform. At most locations, you will be released to your family and friends at 0900, and don't quote me on the time, it may vary from post to post, company to company, but usually by 1945, 100 hours in the evening, which is 7.45 p.m. So every soldier or trainee will re receive their cell phone and will receive a briefing on the do's and don'ts for this particular day. Don't break the rules. So once you pick up your trainee, your soldier, your trainee is yours for the day. You can do whatever you want with them within reason. So make sure that they adhere to the rules that were provided to them. And if you were briefed as a family member, make sure you follow those guidelines because it's this is the army and we don't play, okay? So let's get into some of the rules as a trainee on family day. This is not a complete list because each post and each company may have their own SOP or policies to how they carry out their family day. So with that being said, trainees cannot drink any alcohol, no matter what. They are not allowed to smoke any cigarettes, hookah, and this should be a dud.com, but no marijuana or any other illicit drugs out there. The trainee, your soldier, has to stay in uniform the entire time. They cannot change out of clothes and change into civvies or civilian clothes while they're with you. They must remain in uniform at all times. Sorry, it's just the rules. I'm sorry, but Trainees are not allowed to drive any vehicles or any other machinery, so no tractors, no trailers, no go-karts, no mopeds, motorcycles, you name it. If it requires a driver's license or if it's a recreational vehicle, trainees are not allowed to drive. We cannot afford for your soldier to get injured while driving because we don't prevent them from riding in a car, but if they injure themselves because they were driving, they could, they could get in trouble. Most training installations nowadays, they do not want you leaving post. You can go anywhere you want within post, but you must stay on the military post. Do not go off post for any reason. Your trainee, your soldier, cannot bring back any snacks or any other prohibited items. Your soldier will know what they're not allowed to bring back. If it goes beyond 0900 hours, do not text or call your soldier telling them to come or what's going on. They can't control when the drill sergeants release them. They must stay within the training area until they are authorized to leave to meet with you. So bear with them. This last rule, Maybe not all the rules I, I discussed, but this last rule is imperative. It is critical. It is extremely, extremely important that you do not bring them back late. Not even 30 seconds late. They know that they need to show up 15 minutes prior to the time they're supposed to report back. That's why I said 1945 or the spe specified time that the drill sergeant gave them at the time they were released to you. This is the army and they don't give two ounces of whatever of your excuse. They don't want to hear my mom, my dad, my wife, my children. They know they're supposed to be there and they will be there at any cost. 
because they will be punished even if it was legitimately your fault for bringing them late. They will take the blame because that's the army way. We are responsible for ourselves and whatever is put out to us, we will follow that like it's the law. Drill sergeants don't care. So if the, if the private gets back late and they get smoked and they get punished, they could face legal actions if, depending on the situation, I'm, I'm, t I'm telling you, don't bring them back late because Joe starting to be like, two tears in a bucket. I don't give a F. Push pry. I'm really sorry to put it to you that way, but unfortunately, that's the army life and that's how we live. That's the code that will never be broken. So make sure you drop him or her off at the appropriate time. You're probably wondering why I'm stressing this. Trust me, it's it's super important. So let's talk about souvenirs and purchases. While you're on post or while you're off post, your soldier stays on post, but while you're off post, you're gonna wanna buy a souvenir or something to remember this special day, either for your soldier or for yourself. So many military units will sell souvenirs and gifts like this on this day and graduation, but nonetheless, a bunch of civilian companies out there that, that will tailor souvenirs specifically for your warrior. You know, I know I personally bought a t-shirt, I bought like a little box that you put at the end of a bed or whatever, like a souvenir box that you put whatever in there. They sell like a yearbook, a video, rings, all kinds of different things, all kinds of memorabilia, things, souvenirs, anything you can think of, they sell as gifts. At minimum, I suggest the video. I think that's pretty cool. Or a t-shirt. I wouldn't really waste money on a ring. Not yet. Wait until you get promoted to like sergeant or above or something like that. I, I don't know. That's just personal preference to me, but and everything, it, all the gifts for the most part, in my personal humble opinion, are way overpriced. So you could definitely purchase military themed souvenirs or items on the base, at the gift shop, at the post exchange or the PX for short, your soldier will know exactly what that is. So what are my final thoughts about family day during army basic training? I understand while it is expensive to travel and all the most of the emphasis is on the graduation day, which is the next day, it is still a great opportunity for families and friends to connect with their warrior their soldier in training. So definitely, definitely make some time in your schedule, squeeze it in there to maximize both family day and graduation day to spend that quality time with your soldier. This is more important for, in my opinion, for active duty soldiers that are gonna be moving on to their permanent duty station. So this is a, an amazing opportunity to spend two days for free, uh, which don't count against the soldier at basic training. So if you can't miss work, try to, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, try to make this a priority to be there for both family day and graduation. So work it out with your civilian company, whoever it is that you're working for as a family member or friend, squeeze in an extra day to sit down and be with your soldier and spend that quality time with them. Take a, a vacation day or take a, a vacation day with no pay. Figure it out. Spend that time with your soldier. You won't regret it. I promise you. Spend that time with them. It, it means the world to them. It means more to the soldier than you realize. They just went through hell and back in those 10 weeks throughout Army Basic Training. So it is just as important to them as it is for you to recognize your soldier, to reconnect with them, to be proud of them, to see all their accomplishments, to talk about everything that they've been through, you know, especially for those family members that, you know, you're super tight knit and all that good stuff. You're gonna wanna reconnect with your family member, your soldier, and spend that quality time with them. So for most, uh, for most warriors, for most soldiers, it means the world to them that you can make it there. They really, really do look forward to it. I, as a recruiter, see it all the time. You know, there was this one guy, you know, he does not have a close relationship with his father or his family. In fact, he didn't even think that his father would come. His father basically didn't really give a F about his decision to join. He thought he was wasting his time and wasn't gonna amount to anything or whatever, but I, I'm telling you right now, his dad, his father came to his family day and his graduation and you know the soldier was super happy, super ecstatic. It, it really made their relationship a little bit better. And to this day, you know, his father is happy for him and, and supports him 200%. So it means a lot to the soldier when you come. And even if your family, family dynamics are not close, trust me, it makes a world 
of a difference if you can show up on family day and graduation. So if you have any further questions that I did not cover in this video specific to family day, do me a favor, comment them below and I'll see you in the comments and I'll address you there. If I don't, for whatever reason, answer within 30 to 60 minutes, you can hit me up on my Instagram. I answer every single DM, no matter what. Since day one, almost five years ago, I have like OCD. Every time I get a notification, I have to respond to every single comment and every single DM. And if I don't answer the DM, I at least acknowledge you with a double tap. I always heart those things. But anyway, that's a different story for another day. But I will see you in the comment section. If you do me a favor, if you like this video, give me that like button or dislike if you didn't like the video, who cares? Subscribe to the channel if you would. That would mean the world to me. That would be super amazing. And if you made it this far in the video, do me a favor, put a hashtag Team Swartz down below in the comment section. You are my real MVP. Last but not least, if you are waiting to go to basic training and you are in your future soldier program, if you are in the active duty or army reserve recruiting station, or if you're in the army national guard in the recruit sustainment program, hook a battle buddy up, save a young private's life in army basic training by sharing this video with them. They will thank you for it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. That's it, video's over, sorry. Um, but you can definitely watch more. You can check out this video here or Maybe you can check out this video here. Um, but you know what? Actually, this video is pretty good. You should definitely watch this one. But actually, this one seems pretty great. You should definitely check out this video. But actually, why don't you watch them both? Try clicking them both.